Hello and welcome to Sigma Excel video tutorials. This video is a short introduction to Sigma Excel. It's primarily geared towards new users and can be used for insight on how to use this amazing program. Sigma Excel is a powerful but easy to use Excel add-in that will enable you to measure, analyze, improve and control your service, transactional and manufacturing processes. This is the ideal cost-effective tool for Six Sigma green belts and black belts, quality and business professionals, engineers, and managers. Sigma Excel will help you in your problem solving and process improvement efforts by enabling you to easily slice and dice your data, quickly separating the vital few factors from the trivial many. This tool will also help you to identify and validate root causes and sources of variation, which then helps to ensure that you develop permanent corrective actions and or improvements. For example, here's a demonstration of a basic Pareto chart used on customer satisfaction scores. This chart clearly demonstrates major complaints. Sigma Excel utilizes the Y equals F of X model in its dialog boxes. Y denotes a key process output metric, X denotes a key process input metric. The mathematical expression for Y equals F of X denotes that a variable y is a function of x. y can also be viewed as the effect of interest and x is the cause. For example, y could be customer satisfaction as measured on a survey and x could be location or responsiveness to calls. The goal is to figure out which x's from among many possible are the key x's and to what extent do they impact the y's of interest. Solutions and improvements then focus on those key x's. X and Y metrics can each be continuous or discrete. A continuous measure will have readings on a continuous scale where midpoint has meaning. For example, in a customer satisfaction survey using a 1 to 5 score, the value 3.5 has meaning. Other examples of continuous measures include cycle time, thickness, and weight. A discrete measure is categorical in nature. If we have customer types 1, 2, and 3, customer type 1.5 has no meaning. Other examples of discrete measures include defect counts and number of customer complaints. It is possible to have various combinations of discrete and continuous x's and discrete and continuous y's. Here are some examples. It's important to note that in Sigma Excel, a discrete x can be text or numeric, but a continuous x must be numeric. Y's must be numeric. If y is discrete, count data will be required. If the data of interest is discrete text, it should be referenced as X1 and Sigma Excel will automatically search through the text data to obtain a count. Sigma Excel can accommodate two data formats, either stacked column and unstacked multiple column. The stacked column format has an X column, also referred to as the group category column, and a Y column that contains the data of interest. Here's an example of data in stack column format with three unique groups of customer type. If the data is in unstacked multiple column format, each unique group of X corresponds to a different column. Here's an example of the same data shown in unstacked multiple column format. Sigma Excel's summary of graphical tools are Pareto charts, pivot charts, histograms, dot plots, box plots, normal probability plots, run charts, multivari charts, scatter plots, analysis of means, control charts. Sigma Excel summary of statistical tools are t-tests, one-way ANOVA, two-way ANOVA, non-parametric tests, Confidence Interval for Standard Deviation, or F-Tests, Bartlett's Test, Levine's Test, Proportions Test, Poisson Rate Test, One-Way Chi-Square Goodness of Fit Test, Chi-Square Test, Anderson-Darling Normality Test, Correlation, Regression, Logistic Regression, Design of Experiments. This concludes the Introduction to Sigma Excel tutorial video. For more videos, join us at www.sigmaxcel.com or join us at our YouTube page. Thank you for watching.